bring rebirth to the yes. to the industry in general. Um, and uh, you want to talk about some of the details? Well, he expressed a lot of interest in uh, the replanting of coconut trees to revive the coconut industry because we know he noticed that um, a lot of the trees are already senile and old. Uh, he's been to our plant actually in in uh, Medina, Misamis Oriental. That's a small town in Mindanao. And he was there when he was campaigning for president, so he was able to go to the plant. He saw what was happening there, and he expressed a lot of interest to support, to revive this industry okay, by planting. Mm -hmm. And of course, on the other end, the market is here with Vito Coco, and we have other customers too. And that spurs the, you know, the development of the industry. Yeah, the demand, the demand is tremendous, um, specifically for coconut water, but also for other coconut products. So um, it'll be interesting to see how we can develop that in the Philippines and continue to grow the business. We've actually just signed an agreement to um, to increase our, our their production, our, our purchasing, um, fourfold over the next couple of years. Uh, so there's a lot, a lot going on, a lot of development, and it should be nice as we continue to, to build it out. Why coconut water? Well. Um, um, we were talking about it actually with the president. Um, he was asking. <laughs> um, he was actually asking. You know, everybody says it's so good for you. Everybody in the Philippines knows it's good for you, but nobody knows exactly why. And the real, the real reason is the potassium levels. Um, there's really nothing else in nature that has this high levels of potassium as the coconut, as coconut water. So you look at a banana that people automatically think it's high in potassium. This is twice as, as powerful in terms of potassium levels as a banana. So that leads to hydration in any respect, whether it's um, heart health or muscle cramping or, or when you're exercising, whatever the need may be. But that's really the, the reason, I believe, for the demand in the category, in the coconut water category. And this brand, um, I think part of the, the success of the brand has been the taste of the product. Americans like it, and, and um, which is interesting. It's something totally different for them. But also a lot of the a lot of the media around it. A lot of celebrities have gotten behind it. Actually, um, one of our shareholders is Madonna, and another one is Demi Moore and Rihanna. And so as these people have invested in our business and promoted coconut water, it's starting to really um, you know become something interesting to the masses, which is which is changing the category very quickly. Vita Coco, their product is actually the leading brand here in the U.S. Yeah. And uh, they're also selling in Australia, you know, and other parts of the world. Um, we have been trying to paddle coconut water to the market for a long <laughs> time, but it's only with them, with Vita Coco, that we really made a dent, and it was very successful because of their wonderful marketing strategy. So that helps a lot, and of course, by the promotion of our honorary consul, Mr. Donato <laughs> here from Atlanta, uh, he was the one who authenticated the contract between us. So it's been very instrumental too in helping us. So, in terms of investment, like uh, how much, uh, how much are we talking about, or for the part of, uh, for the Philippines side? Sir? Oh, on the Philippines side. Well, uh, for this project alone, we had to plunk in something around five million dollars. But uh, since he is insisting that we make it quadruple, you know, I beat up on it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about maybe anywhere from you know ten to fifteen million in the next three years. Uh, that will entail an additional maybe workforce of around six hundred from our existing 1800 today. We have now 1800 workforce working in Mindanao and uh, m more will come because of this project. 15 million pesos or trees? Or no, dollars. US no, dollars. US dollars. Yeah, over the next four years. Four yeah. years so. yeah, over the next four years. Yeah. Uh, we have to raise some money. We have to borrow money for that. <laughs> Can you lend me some? <laughs> <laughs> Philippines lang is the is the old sole, sole provider of uh, no. coconut or do you have no. other sources? No, we, we produce quite a bit in, in Brazil, uh, Indonesia, and we're now actually um, opening up Sri Lanka. Um, but the Philippines is where we're putting um, a tremendous amount of investment, tremendous amount of effort to increase supply because there are a lot of coconuts. And as we saw, um, the government is interested in increasing the coconut supply out of in the Philippines. So it's a place that um, there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of opportunity for growth. Um, within this this category of producing coconut water. Okay. Sir, what was the president's response to, to your during your meeting? He was very very interested. Um, he was really interested in learning about um, the, the the quality of the product and, and how you're able to keep the product in its natural state, and or interested in learning about the details of the Tetra Pak, which is this type of packaging. So we spent a lot of time talking about that. But um, he was uh, he was he, he actually made a very funny comment. He's like after an 18-hour uh, 
trip over here yesterday. It's so refreshing to look at something like this. He wasn't able to drink it during the meeting because of security reasons, but he was able to, you know, enjoy it. It's something different. It's something tropical, something fun. Um, not your standard business uh, business meeting. It was a good time. He was a very very nice guy and, and great sense of humor.